A long time ago in 1981, there was a 27-minute animated movie that Disney decided to bless us with. This movie was a reminder of the original Disney characters that were rolled with their original voice actors, and in today's episode, we shall look at all the original 21 characters and their original voice actors, most of whom are dead and a few still alive. And before we even begin, I'm gonna lay out some pointers of today's characters. Donald Duck had a twin sister known as Della, and the famous Scrooge McDuck was his uncle. Donald also has a middle name, Fauntleroy. Captain Hook's real name is not Hook, it's James Bartholomew. He has a fear of crocodiles, and this happened after a crocodile ate his left hand. This captain is actually a good swordsman, and other than crocodiles, Captain Hook is also afraid of clocks, because he does not know the exact time of his death. The famous Walt Disney came up with the idea of creating Snow White when he was only 15 years old, and when he actually made the movie, he budgeted it to be approximately $250,000, but it actually costed him more than $1.5 million, which made him to mortgage his home in order to finance the production. The film roughly took three years to produce, from 1934 to 1937. This movie also became the first feature-length animated film in history. In Cinderella, Prince Charming was never called by that name and only went with Prince. And this might sound like a shocker, but Cinderella's shoe size was four and a half. And now let's go to Mickey Mouse, who was married to Minnie in private. In Peter Pan, fairy dust was not originally in the movie, but kids started jumping off from roofs in an attempt to fly, which made the Disney company to add fairy dust as a necessary ingredient for flying. Maleficent is one of the few villains in Disney to have her own full movie because the character was so loved, such that it was the most used costume in Halloweens and cosplays. Anyway, let's start with Donald Duck, who was an anthropomorphic white duck with orange legs and feet and was always seen wearing a sailor shirt and a cap. This duck was voiced by the legendary Clarence Nash, who was an American voice actor and impressionist. Clarence sadly passed away on February 20th, 1985, while struggling with leukemia at an old age of 80 years. Cruella de Vil was a scary-looking woman who was obsessed with fashion and always wanted to use the skins of Dalmatian puppies to create a spotted fur coat. Cruella was voiced by Betty Lou Gerson, who was an American actress. Betty sadly passed away on 12th January 1999 at a blessed age of 84. Her cause of death was ruled out to be from stroke. Captain Hook was a bloodthirsty pirate that commanded the Jolly Roger and was always hunting a boy named Peter Pan for cutting his left hand and feeding it to a crocodile. This captain was voiced by Hans Conrad, who was an American actor and comedian, and was also known for the original voice of George Darling in Peter Pan. Hans Conrad sadly met his end on 5th January 1982, at a mere age of 64. His cause of death was believed to be heart attack. The beautiful Snow White was a kind and gentle princess, with lips red as a rose and skin white as snow, who also had seven friends who were dwarfs. She was voiced by the everlasting Adriana Caselotti, who was an American actress and singer, who was named a Disney legend in 1994. This beautiful soul sadly passed away on January 19, 1997 from complications of lung cancer at the age of 80. The next princess is Cinderella, who was originally an orphan girl living with her stepmother and sisters and was always tormented and beaten by them until the day she met the fairy godmother. And as they say, the rest is history. Cinderella was voiced by the all-time legend, Eileen Woods, who was also an American actor and singer, and just like Adriana Caselotti, she was named a Disney legend in 2003. Eileen sadly passed away on the first day of July 2010 at the mighty age of 81. Her death was as a result of Alzheimer's disease. Created in 1928 by Disney, Mickey Mouse has served as one of the longest cartoon characters to ever exist, and this mouse was created to love adventure and try new things, and was also so optimistic and a friend of everyone. Mickey was created by the greatest animator of all, Walt Disney, who was an American animation and film producer. This almighty legend sadly passed away at an early age of 65, on December 15, 1966. His cause of death was due to lung cancer. Bernard was a pudgy young mouse who initially worked as a janitor for the Rescue Aid Society in the Rescuers movie of 1977. 
Bernard was voiced by Bob Newhart, who was an American comedian and actor, who initially began his career as a stand-up comedian and slowly transitioned his career to acting in television. Bob sadly passed away two months ago on July 18, 2024. He lived a well-deserved life and died at an old age of 94 years. Alice was a young girl who, just like everyone else these days, used her imagination to escape reality, and her curiosity led her to a mysterious realm known as Wonderland. She was voiced by the lovely Catherine Beaumont, who is a retired British actress and is also known for the original voice of Wendy Darling in Peter Pan. Born in 1938, Catherine is currently 86 years old and is the only cast member on this show who is still alive. Grimhild, who is popularly known as the Evil Queen, was the arch enemy of Snow White and was determined to be the only beautiful person in the whole kingdom. She was voiced by the oldest cast member of all time, Lucille Laverne, who was an American actress back in the days. Lucille was born in 1872 and died on March 4, 1945. Her cause of death was ruled to be of unspecified cancer. Prince Charming was the prince of a faraway kingdom who was known for his handsomeness and his smile and was the lucky guy who married Cinderella. This prince was voiced by His Majesty Harry Stockwell, who was an American actor and singer. He sadly passed away on July 19, 1984, from tough complications of diabetes. He was 82 years old. Thomas was a smooth-talking cat who was also street smart and lived his life without any responsibilities or any care in the world. Thomas O'Malley was voiced by Phil Harris, who was an American actor and entertainer, and was also an orchestra leader and a pioneer in radio comedy. This talented man sadly passed away 11th August 1995 as a result of stroke. He was 91 years old. Peter Pan was a young boy from Neverland who didn't age, could fly without wings, and was the undisputed leader of the Lost Boys. He was voiced by Bobby Driscoll, who was a young American actor, who performed on stage from 1943 to 1960. This young man sadly passed away on March 30, 1968, at only 31 years. He succumbed from complications of heart failure. Maleficent was a woman of pure evil and was responsible for all the misfortune in the kingdom ruled by King Stefan, who cursed the princess to die by pricking her finger on a spinner's wheel. Maleficent was voiced by the iconic Eleanor Audley, who was an American actress and voice actress. Eleanor sadly passed away a month before Christmas in 1991 and was 86 years old. Now here are some honorable mentions. The Queen of Hearts, who was the Queen of Wonderland, was voiced by the lovely Verna Feltron. Lady from the Lady and the Tramp was voiced by Barbara Luddy. Jiminy Cricket from Pinocchio was voiced by Cliff Edwards. Geppetto, who was the father of Pinocchio, was voiced by Christian Rubb. Lampwick, who was another character in the Pinocchio animation, was voiced by the iconic Frankie Darrow. Timothy Mouse, who we found in the 1941 Disney film called Dumbo, was voiced by Edward Brophy. The Blue Fairy, who was also featured in Pinocchio, was voiced by the lovely Evelyn Venable. And finally, Orville, the bird who took his job and flying with pride, was voiced by the old-timer Jim Jordan. The fact that Cruella wanted to kill the 99 Dalmatians in order for her to make herself a furry coat shows us how far some people would go in order to acquire wealth and good things. And the fact that the evil queen wanted to kill Snow White just because she was jealous of her beauty shows us how addicted some of us are concerning our own outward appearance in a way that we forget of our inner beauty which is shown through kindness and respect, through gentleness and love, and through goodness of our hearts. And what Captain Hook taught us is that revenge will only lead us nowhere. All these animations had a deeper meaning that was supposed to teach us something at the end.